we're going to talk about uh, another type of lighting. So go ahead and we're going to go on me again and zoom in a little bit. We want to kind of here to here to here. So I guess a uh, belt to belt up a little bit and my pants sag. It's because I'm Mexican. It comes with the territory. So <laughs> I just roll like that. That's how I roll. My pants sag. Oh, but Lord. It, when I was younger, it was because it was cool. Now it's just like a fat belly. And <laughs> It just basically looks a lot better. It looks a lot better than wearing it up with my belly up. Yeah. So. <laughs> just that'll be a few years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what we're going to talk about here is, is, is something called uh, broad lighting. And the opposite of broad lighting is... And not because she's a broad, but it's just broad. <laughs> it's broad in the sense of... <laughs> what is he trying to say? Broad and narrow lighting. So so our narrow lighting is going to be when, when we light um, the side of the face... It, okay, if Megan turns her face this way, so turn your face this way, Megan. And the camera's going to be lighting all this side of her head and here. This is a broad lighting. So Megan, if you could turn your eyes this way, just your eyes, so turn your face this way. Turn your face a little bit towards me, tilt your head a little bit this way. And then your eyes are going to come this way to where I am. I'm going to take a shot just so we can get verification of what this is. I'm going to take a couple shots, but make sure you keep your face that way. So even if you move until, just make sure your, your face is still mostly that way. Bring your face a little... Bring your face a little bit back towards me. I'm stumbling around here. A little bit this way. There you go. And then tilt your head a little bit this way. There you go. Perfect. See how it works. All right. And look at here. Beautiful. A couple more times. Blow the camera a little kiss. Come on. A kiss. There you go. <laughs> Let's give him the Linwood. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, now we're going to make it turn her face this way. So, Megan, you're going to turn your face this way. Oh, there you go. The yeah, there you go. Just like that. And actually, you can turn your shoulders this way, too. A little bit this way, a little bit this way. All right. Now, I'm going to move this light completely over. This is going to be a side lighting. It's going to be, uh, I'm not even sure if it's called, I just call it side lighting. But anyhow, we're going to light it from the side, okay? And we're going to make sure that we're leaving this side of her face in shadow. So, the, the broad side of the face that we had just lit, that side's going to be in shadow. And this works for people that are, um, that are overweight and you don't want someone to appear chubby. You don't want to light this whole big side of their face. You light them from this side and this side of their face falls in shadow. And so it just, it makes you, it makes you focus on the mask of the face and not this whole cheek and ear and area over here, which on a larger person is um, fat. So <laughs> when, you, when you're photographing someone that's a little overweight, this is a good lighting. There's, there's things called corrective lighting. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go. Of course, Megan doesn't need a lot of corrections, but a lot of times you run into people who need corrections, especially if you're not just shooting models and you're just shooting people, you know, because people, they're, they, they come in all shapes and sizes. So, you know, uh, you don't want to make them not look like themselves. You want to make them look like the best version of themselves, the way they see themselves, because people see themselves looking good. You know what I'm saying? When I look in the mirror, I think I look good in the morning, you know, I look good, but I go out and people probably think I look like <laughs> people probably, this baggy pants. <laughs> people see me different than I see myself, but I see myself as looking good, you know, and, and people see themselves when they look in the mirror as looking good, you know, before they leave the house, they, especially if they're about to take a picture. When you see them, they just saw themselves the best they're going to look because they're like, this is the way I'm going to be recorded for a long time. So they'll get themselves into a position where they look nice. Now, if you see them and you're like, ooh, damn, you know, I got I to gotta help them. You know, you help people out a little bit with the pictures and you make them look the best. You shine them in the best light. So, you know, you put them in the best light. And that's what you're doing as a photographer is you're controlling the light to put people into the best light so they look the best they're going to look. So, um, like I said, we're gonna, I'm going to show you a technique, but it's not as though Megan's um, overweight in any way or needs to be corrected. But it also looks nice. So you can get some really nice looking pictures and they're different. And, uh, you know, it's different stylios that you can choose from. So once you know the styles, you can choose to use the style. So I'm going to show you some Okay, so you just watch. All right, I'm going to move this light. <laughs> and since I know that I did my, my measurement earlier, see, it's too close. So I'm going to move it back a little bit because I did my measurement and I know that it's done on my arm length. And that's never going to change, at least not throughout one shoot. So I'll just keep checking, and there it goes. That looks good. And we're coming from beyond 90 degrees. So if Megan's here, I'm there. This is going to be 90 degrees. We're coming from behind her a little bit. And so we're going to make sure that that side of her face is in that uh, zone that's uh, going to be not lit. 
or lit, or light it from the right way. So you follow me, I think. So I hope I'm letting you. I hope I'm not moving too fast for you or too slow for you. Definitely not too slow, but we'll see here. Cool. All right. So maybe turn your face a little bit more in that. Way. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. I'm kind of like it, but. It's a little too dark on this side, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce that other light source that we're talking about, which isn't a light, it's actually a reflector. So we're going to have a reflector come in, and we're just going to have this nice light here. We're going to put this reflector right here. Hopefully we can still see Megan, but if not, oh well, we're trying to do this lighting thing. So uh, I guess if we can't see Megan, Linwood could just watch me. He already said I look hot. So yes, all right, here we did. go. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna be up here, and now we're gonna see this with the reflector. We are gonna make sure that Megan is there. You go. Megan's sharp. She's on. She already knows. So let's see. I'm gonna move the reflector in just a little bit here. And what we're doing is we're getting some of this light to bounce back to fill in the shadows that are that are on this uh, on this beautiful model here. We don't want her to be completely in shadow on that side. And we can do this at any time with any setup. There we go. Turn your face a little bit towards me, man. All right, and this is more of like a side lighting here. And it is rather beautiful. I like it. Oh. And there we may be breaking my concentration again. So dun, dun, dun. 